Well, I think once again, we're playing an extremely competitive um, schedule here at the University of Houston. You know, I'm excited about, you know, not only our new conference opponents, um, some teams we haven't faced before in the league, but also some teams, you know, outside the league that we've never played before in the history of this program. But, you know, opening at home, I think this is the eighth straight year that we've opened at home, and that's something I'll continue to do. Um, I can't see change that anytime in the near future. I like to get them out, get them in a home environment, and hopefully get off to a good start playing at home. But, uh, you know, non-conference slate, I think, is one of the toughest ones we've played. Um, you know, obviously in the Minute Maid tournament again, a tournament out in California. So, you know, College of Charleston is going to be a formidable opponent on the road as well. So, you know, I think this is going to prepare our team for postseason, prepare us for the stretch run down the end of the season, and, and I think it's going to bode well for us as we go through, go through the uh, college baseball season. Well, you know, the Minute Maid tournament is the elite tournament in college baseball. It's been that way for years. It's uh, Always a great field, you know. Uh, ourselves and Rice compete are lucky enough to compete in annually. Um, you know, Texas, Texas Tech, Texas A&M, Baylor, on a biannual on biannual basis. So <clears throat> they always pick up a couple of at-large opponents that are really competitive. So it is a regional atmosphere. All the teams in the tournament, year in year out, are regional caliber teams and usually do participate in the postseason. There's a lot of buzz around the tournament, you know, which helps with deal with some of the things down the road. So I think it's the best way to prepare your team for, you know, for postseason play within your regular season. Well, the Dodger Town Classic, we're extremely honored to be invited to play out there. I think it shows the caliber of our program, the respect that we have nationwide to be able to go and play in an elite tournament as that one. You know, the, the it's an in, interesting format because uh, two of them are played. Um, will be considered road games and ones at a neutral site. We'll play USC in game one at USC. We'll play the defending national champion UCLA at their home field. And then on Sunday, uh, we get the opportunity to play Pepperdine at Dodger Stadium in a big league park. So, you know, I think that there's a lot of, a lot of experience we can gain. You know, long try, you know, that's a pretty good, tr pretty good trip for us as far as the length of travel, going out to a, crossing a couple time zones um, and playing great competition. So, you know, that'll be a tough test for us. Those teams are all very good. and. Uh, you know, once again, like the Minute Maid Tournament, I think it'll help us down the road as we prepare for the NCAAs. Well, it's, uh, you know, we can, once again this year, bringing a team down from the north in Michigan. Um, new coaching staff there. They're in, I believe, year two of their program. Um, Michigan, one of the, you know, the, the state school in, in Michigan is going to be tough. They, they very well coached, and they're going to be very competitive. Anytime you play a team from the north, they usually come out of the blocks pretty good. You know, I think most people think that because they're indoors, because it's cold, you know, that they're not as prepared as we will be at that point. And, you know, but the one benefit they do have is their kids are so happy to get outside where it's warm like it is in Houston, that they tend to play extremely hard and fight through, you know, whatever practices or preparation that they haven't been able to do. Um, so Michigan will be a tough opponent. Um, Towson and West Virginia coming down for a round robin series, similar to what we did with Baylor and UNO last year. Um, the Saturday night game uh, will be the feature game against West Virginia. I'm excited to compete against them. We've never played West Virginia before, um, you know, and uh, College of Charleston, we have a road trip there. It's, you know, perennially a, a NCAA type team. That'll be a great test for us. It's a beautiful city, great ballpark, and, and that's one that I'm really excited that we were able to add to our schedule. So, you know, the, the, the schedule this year has, has a lot of new faces on it. It's not kind of the same old, same old. Um, that I think we've had the last couple of years. We'll see some opponents we've never seen before, some that we haven't seen in a while, such as Michigan. I think the last time we played Michigan <coughs> was back in the early, you know, early 90s, I believe. So, you know, it'll be fun. It'll be something different for us. Well, I'm, I'm really excited about the American Athletic Conference, and it's, it's going to be as good a league, or if not better, than Conference USA was for us. And Conference USA was a tremendous league. Um, and and uh, it, was, it was a great um, honor to play in that league, and it, it prepared a lot of Houston teams for great postseason action over the years. Um, the Americans going to be very similar as we roll into it once you know, a few, te few more teams go in and out. But you know, talking about this season, obviously you've got to start with the favorite, which is Louisville, um, coming off uh, a trip to the College World Series. They've been, they've been the College World Series twice since Coach McDonald took over that program. Um, a very good opponent, and we're fortunate to have them at home. Um, UConn is in year in year out an NCAA team. I think they've been to a couple of super regionals the last couple of years. You know, South Florida is, is a great program. They have a new, a new stadium down there that they've opened up a couple of years ago. Had a great season last year. Um, of course, we know Central Florida and Memphis. Uh, you know, our partners that are coming over with us from Conference USA is great opponents. Um, Cincinnati has a new coaching staff there. They're going to play with a lot of energy this year. 
Um, you know, Temple, I don't know a whole lot about, um, but they're going to they're gonna be a great team as well. We play them on the road. So, you know, I, I like the way the schedule stacks up. We have four really good home series um, in Louisville, Memphis, Central Florida, and South Florida. You know, pretty good test on the road going to UConn and following that up with Temple the last two weekends. We, we will literally spend, you know, almost the month of May on the road. Um, we go to UConn, to Temple, and then uh, we have a, a, a game in there with Rice over at uh, out at Sugar Land at Skeeter's Ballpark, and then we head off to the conference tournament. So, you know, the month of May, we're going to be pretty scarce around here. Most of our games are going to happen at home early. Um, but, you know, you play the NCAA tournament on the road, you play Super Eagles on the road, and Omaha's on the road. So what better way to prepare us for that, um, because that is the ultimate goal, than to hit the road in May and start getting ready.